Most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living and return with having. In life, we have to know where our boundaries begin and end. And many people do not think about what their boundaries do for them. When you choose a life partner, you choose preferably someone that not only are you intellectually and emotionally and spiritually attracted to, but the physical attributes are usually a bonus for you. If you're choosing in the other direction, in terms of you're choosing based on what you think is chemistry or flirtation, please let me explain to you. There's been a long time film available to most people called Hitch, in which a man teaches fellas how to get the girl of their dreams. The problem is those relationships, as we saw in the film, don't last. And that's the truth from your ideas of going to a blast from the past. Your life is your life. You absolutely have the right to exercise free will. But your free will exercise is related to who you are and who you choose by your own efforts to become. It is never related to how you play your cards or steal from someone or cheat someone out of their life goods or their life intellectual property or my biggest pain in the ass today, copywritten work. You cannot produce the work of a graphic designer. You cannot lie and say you bought it online. Images purchased online have special legalities, so anything you've stolen from someone else to use in your business, you just put yourself to a major legal liability. You see, when we buy stock imagery, there are licensing agreements. And people are usually grandfathered into those situations when conglomerates like Getty Images purchase the smaller companies. It's a danger to the smaller company because people usually adore those companies just as they are. And then some big monster corporation comes in and pretty much ruins the whole thing, making it ridiculous, so cost prohibitive that nobody can do it. But here's what those big assholes do, is they start harvesting and going after people who long ago purchased the rights to those images. And then you've got the shitbags of America who think they have the right to someone's passcode book and they literally pretend in identity theft and in cybercrime and in fraud to be them. The liars of America do that. They steal a passcode book and they start deleting someone's online profiles. That is a form of identity theft. That is most definitely an act of fraud and openly what that means is you're pretending to be someone you're not. It's not teaching anybody a moral lesson. It's not teaching anyone to stay offline. It's teaching the world that you're a liar and a thief and you're doing a cyber crime.